If this is the year you finally decide to start understanding how to use Twitter to help grow your business or brand, stick around because I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do all of that, and it's coming up right now. So step number one in my ultimate guide to using Twitter is actually creating an account and optimizing your profiles for success. So I've actually done all of that here with my own personal profile. Um, everything is set up and optimized for correct um, for success. So hopefully when anyone lands on my Twitter profile or starts following me or clicks on any of my links, they're left in no doubt, you know, who left in no doubt who, about who I am and what I do with that type of thing. So let me show you actually how we do create a Twitter account and set up and optimize a profile for success as well. So that's the first part. Let me show you that one right now. So we need to go to twitter.com. Now I'm showing everyone how to do this on my desktop. It will be very similar from mobile and iPad, um, but you'll come to a screen like this and it will either ask you to log in if you have an existing account, or it will ask you to click the blue button here to sign up if you're wanting to create an account from scratch. And then from that, it's going to ask you some very basic information. Create your account name, your phone number, your date of birth, that type of thing. You do then get the option of um, using an email. But let me type all that in and then I'll show you the next screen after that. So I've given that basic information and then it's asking me to click next again. So let's click next. Now it sent me a verification um, code as a text message. So I have um, entered that. So let's click next. Then it's going to ask for a password. So let me enter a password. And basically from now we have created a Twitter account. We now need to set up and optimize our profile. So let's now do that part. So it's asking me to now add a profile photo. So let me um, select the photo from my computer. So I have selected a photo and you can either zoom it in to crop it. Now I like people to see my smiley face because I'm my business and my business is myself. Now for a lot of you, it might be your own business logo as well. So that's pretty straightforward. We um, click apply and that part will be done. And there we go. So we, our profile picture is set up. So let's click next again. Describe yourself. So, okay, what makes you special? Don't think too hard, just have fun with it. So there we go. So this is all about your Twitter bio. So my bio, I'm going to keep it short, sharp and sweet. You do get 160 character spaces. I've only used 45 so far, making social media for business owners easy. Now I can go back and optimize that further, but for ease of use in this video, let's keep everything short, sharp and sw sweet. What are your interests? Now they're gonna ask for various interests because they're gonna start wanting to, on your news feed, start you know, posting and, and sort of set, forwarding on information, I suppose, not posting. You're gonna um, start seeing information on your news feed around you know interest that you tick so let's tick general news um, let's click YouTube uh, let's click football let's click athletics let's click travel and away we go now all of the social media platforms operate very similar they want you to stay on their platform so they're wanting you to engage with content on the individual platform so what they're now doing they're now suggesting to me based on on some of those ticks that I've just done and, and my date of birth and things like that they're now suggesting um, pages that I can follow because they want to have my eyeballs on Twitter as, as long as possible Facebook do the same YouTube do the same Instagram do the same um, LinkedIn LinkedIn do the same. It's all about getting your eyeballs off another platform and onto this one. So let me click follow um, CNN. What else can we do? Joe Biden. Well, there you go. He's topical at the moment. New York Times, New South Wales Health, um, Channel 9 News here in Australia. Uh, what else? What else? Anything else? The Guardian, Barack Obama, the Premier here in New South Wales. There we go. Ariana Grande, she's one of the most popular people on Instagram and Twitter, so there we go. I'll follow her as well. Um, there's rugby league teams, there's football, there's sport, there's news. That'll do at the moment. So that's more than enough to give them some information at the moment. So we are following seven people or seven accounts, sorry. And then it's going to ask you to turn on notifications. So with any of the accounts that your people that you're following, allow notifications or you can skip for now. Um, I like to know, but anyway, that's a personal thing. So they're the bare basics for setting up a Twitter account. And we've only started to optimize our profile. So we have successfully created a Twitter account. We've given them some information, not overly details, just a, a phone number and an email. And we've given them some of the things that we like to follow, um, businesses, brands, companies, 
means that type of thing. But let's now click on over here on the left-hand side and let's go and have a look at our profile and see what we've done so far. This is what I've done so far. Social media, Mark123. Um, that's a little bit of play on words. All of my other social media platforms are social media selling 123. So I have clicked the edit button again and I have already added a banner image. Now, the banner image is customized at 1500 pixels wide by 500 pixels deep. So you want to sort of get that customized so it fits correctly, so it doesn't cut off any um, relevant information, any of the important information. So I've already gone ahead and added that. Added that. You just click here and it um, you can add a image from your computer. Now, with your account name, you do get... 50 character spaces to actually, um, you know, just uh, name your account. Now, I've only added 21 of the 50, um, but I'll leave that up to you. The same with the bio. Remember, I just went with something short, sharp and sweet. You get 160 character spaces, but this is where you want to tell your story a little bit a little bit more about who you are, what you do, how you help. You're wanting to add a benefit statement. You might want to add a, a call to action. You might want to add some of your Google keywords for SEO ranking and things like that. So um, when someone lands on your Twitter profile, they literally are going to decide in seconds whether they like what they see and they might follow you, they may not. So location, you can add your location. Now, I've already gone at uh, this one here now, sorry, website. I've already added one of my landing page websites. Um, most of you you will possibly just add your business website, that type of thing. I use some landing pages as my sales page. So let's click save on that. So the next thing I want everyone to do is to actually start posting some tweets. So posting and sharing some information on Twitter. So just as you would do on your LinkedIn profile, on your Facebook page, on Instagram, it's the same type of thing. So let's click over here and click the tweet button. And this is where you now get 280 character spaces um, to, you know, explain, you know, what your tweet is all about. Down the bottom here, you can add an image as well. We can do polls and various other things, and I'll get to some of them later in this video. But let me add an image from my computer. So what I've done, I've added um, an image to one of my recent YouTube video uploads, and I'm saying in this particular tweet, in my latest YouTube video, I explain how to create a LinkedIn business page. Now, I've added some um, hashtags, LinkedIn, LinkedIn business page, and LinkedIn company page. So there we go. Um, you can tag some people, you can add further descriptions, various other things, but that's short, sharp, and sweet. Let's start populating our Twitter profile with some, um, with some tweets. Now, that's gone live to your Twitter account your Twitter page, people will now get to like, they'll get to comment, they will get to engage with that, they will get to retweet it. And that's part of the way setting up your account and optimizing your profile. We're almost done. I just want to show you a couple of more quick little things. Now, one of those little things is as you start posting more and more on your Twitter profile, this particular post will get pushed down in the newsfeed. So what I like to do, I like to post um, or pin a tweet to the top of my profile. So by just clicking the three um, little dots there, um, pin to your profile. So that will mean um, this, uh, this particular tweet will appear at the top of your Twitter profile because, um, and that's where you can selectively decide on some, you know, some um, newsworthy information, some upcoming events, you know, a, a tweet that you want people to see whenever they uh, land on your profile at the top. So if I now click onto the Washington Post, I can now scroll down through everything in the Washington Post and all their tweets just appear in chronological order. Now, if they had a post that was pinned to the top, it would be right up the top here, just as I've done. So that's the example that I showed you with that. As I start adding more tweets to this page, this one will always stay at the top. It's called pinning a tweet to the top of your page. Which brings us to the last little bit that I want to explain to everyone in regard to setting up and optimizing your profile. And it's probably one of the most important parts. It's actually selecting your username or your handle. So You've got your account name up here, which I have showed you how to do, social media mark one, two, three. Now see under here, I have changed the username or the handle to smmark123. Now I've had to be a little bit creative with that because you only get 15 character spaces. I actually couldn't put social media mark one, two, three. So I've just gone for the um, for the sake of this exercise, SM mark, you know, representing social media mark one, two, three. And I've had to log in via my iPhone to do that. So I couldn't um, do it via the desktop. I think they've changed the way that it's done, but I was able to do it via mobile. And the sequence that you do on your mobile to actually do that part is 
you go to settings and privacy then you click on the account and that brings up the option for you to change your username so viewing my twitter profile at the moment down the bottom left hand corner you can see the blue dot with the plus and the Twitter icon, that would be how you would start um, tweeting. If I was to go to my home page, again, it is down the bottom left-hand corner. So it is really easy to start posting on Twitter because that's all we do is we tap that blue icon and up comes what's happening in your life. Now, firstly, I'm going to select a photo. This particular one is my son in soccer action, and I would then um, share some information on this. Now, remembering we only get 280 character spaces. That includes everything. The image that I've selected there takes up 22 character spaces. Um, and your hashtags and things like that take up hash, um, character spaces as well. Saturday, soccer, action from my son. We'll keep it simple. Um, let's add some hashtags as well. Saturday soccer hashtags. There are no spaces in between. So first one is Saturday soccer. What other hashtags can we um, add? So I've added two more hashtags, soccer time and football time. So there we go, nice and short, sharp and simple. How to post on Twitter, it is that easy. And let's press top right, the blue tweet button, and it is loading. Your tweet was sent. And away we go. That's how simple it is to post on Twitter. From your Here is my profile. These are all the tweets that I've been posting and, and I'm tweeting over the last few days. And it's all of these icons down the bottom. These are the type of things that people can start engaging with your post. So they can add an extra comment, that type of thing. They can like the post. Um, they can send it. This one is a direct message. Um, the one over here on the other side, you can see your tweet analysis. But it's this one here that it looks like the um, the arrow is going around in a circle, left and right. So that's the retweet button. So anyone viewing my um, you know Twitter profile can retweet some of my content. Let me go to my homepage and actually show you how to do that on some brand new tweets. So scrolling through my news feed, this is the homepage for me on Twitter. Um, various information coming through. So let me find something that we can um, retweet that catches my eye. And here's a story about a rugby league player that's going to be switching from rugby league to rugby union. So I can like that tweet, as I just explained, and, and add a comment. But if I just want to forward that on again, I click the retweet here and I can retweet it directly like that. Or I can click below and I can add another comment to it. So let's add a comment as well. And I've just added, he will be a big loss to the Warriors. That's the New Zealand Warriors rugby league team that he plays for. And it's that simple. And you just click tweet. And I have retweeted that. So if I go back to my profile, it should be appearing on my profile as a tweet as well. So here we go. He will, he will be a big loss to the Warriors. And that was the original Fox News tweet on um, the rugby league well, player. So this is the end result of where we all want to get to when we're posting on Twitter, when we're tweeting, when we're sharing business information, when we're sharing whatever information you want to share with the outside world. This is the end result. So I've just uploaded this one and it's um, I'm tweeting about one of my uh, recent videos that I uploaded to my YouTube channel. In this video, I explain how to correctly set up and optimize your YouTube channel for success. And I had the YouTube video link here. And I've added three hashtags here as well. YouTube, YouTube channel, and set up a YouTube, or set up YouTube channel. So I've utilized hashtags on this particular post. The post is about setting up and optimizing a YouTube channel. And I've used these three hashtags. So basically what happened and how hashtags work, if anyone was to now click on those hashtags, it will take you to all of the posts that include those particular hashtags. So, and I will get back to showing you how that actually works but I wanted to start with this straight away this is the result of where we want to get to so let me just go to my newsfeed or home page on Twitter and let's just scroll through the newsfeed to see if we can find any other tweets and posts on Twitter and some hashtags so here's one Cronulla Sharks are the rugby league football team follow they've got a hashtag saying up up um, and for anyone who is wanting to know that that's the first lines to our team song we say up up Cronulla so there we go Cronulla Sharks the rugby league team 
Um, they got some late mail about tonight's game and they're utilising one simple hashtag. Um, here we go, the uh, newspaper here in Sydney. Um, here we go, the National Rugby League. It's Friday night here in Sydney. This is the game tonight. We are ready, NRL versus Panthers versus Sharks. So they've used hashtag NRL Panthers and Sharks. Again, if anyone wants to click on that, it will then take them to information on all on that particular topic. Just show you one more so you're then getting an idea. Jeff Bullis, um, he's um, someone I follow on Twitter, always posting great social media content. He's just utilised a very simple one, social media tools, and away we go. See if we can find one more quick one just to give people an idea on the idea of or you know why you would be using hashtag before we dive totally into it here we go what's this one um gold diggers in victoria have have found two huge gold nuggets nine news is one of the television stations here in australia and they've just utilized the hashtag nine news so if i was to now click on that nine news it's now going to bring up all the tweets that have nine news within them. So basically it allows you to quickly and simply find information on a particular topic. 